Yo, well, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back once again to another video. And a video I've got to make today just because of shit I'm seeing online um, from so-called Battlefield fans. In other words, um, people who have made a lot of money off the Battlefield franchise and then as soon as Battlefield kind of died as a video game, which it, it pretty much is dead as a video game, let's be real, um, they soon swanned off to um, Warzone, started playing Warzone, and now, you know, Battlefield, there's kind of talks about the oh battlefield needs to you know become a br game it needs to it, it needs to reinvent itself and i can't just like listen to this on tw twitter which i haven't really got a presence because i get an account banned on twitter maybe once every six months if i'm lucky um so i've i've got to make a youtube video talk about this because you know this is something they don't need to do it's just people on the internet who have now got an audience you know where they used to you know be battlefield fans then they turned into Warzone shills because they shilled out for Battlefield, said so Battlefield 5 was the greatest Battlefield game of all time, which, again, I'm going to show you proof um, of Westy saying that and then changing video titles. It's just ridiculous. So, again, if you don't follow me on Twitter, please follow me on my new Twitter because if you followed me on the old one, you're not going to find me anymore. Again, you can see me username there. Beautiful little picture there, um, not photoshopped at all. <laughs> So yeah, come and follow me on Twitch. Sorry, Twitch. Come and follow me on Twitter because, again, that's where I get in a lot of my arguments with these um, so-called, you know, video gamers, a.k.a. shills, a.k.a. make money out of um, naive um, people on the internet. So there's basically been a few of them talking about it. So it didn't start off with... Um, it didn't start off really with... Um, it didn't start off with Broken Machine. So the Tactical Brit... Um, tweet out this. If and when Battlefield decide to release a real BR game with destruction and studio support, I can tell you for free, it will be the top BR to exist full stop. I'm like, are you for fucking real, man? Are you for fucking real? This is like complete delusional YouTuber mentality that they think they know everything. Um, didn't we try with, you know, Hazard Zone, the most recent one? And then, obviously, you've got the other shit Battle Royale. Firestorm, at all, did anything. I just remember it being completely half arsed half-baked. You know, they kind of did pretty much what COD does now, just copies other popular things. No, do not, under any circumstances, EA, you've tried it twice, you've tried Hazard Zone, you've tried Firestorm, do not go down this road. Do not listen to two or three YouTubers who now get more views on their videos playing Battle Royale games and think that they represent the Battlefield community. Westy, the tactical Brit. These people don't represent Battlefield anymore. They just don't. The Broken Machine, all of them. Stoda, doesn't matter who it is. All these people who used to be Battlefield players, Battlefield fans back in the day, they're not Battlefield fans. They just make videos based on whatever gets them the most traffic. Um, and Westy, you know, we know Westy. I've exposed him before. You know, you can see here on the screen, I'm going to have to probably zoom in a bit more. No, it doesn't make any difference. But Westy, a long time ago, he were changing video titles based on him just being delusional with his takes on stuff. So when Westy first made this video, where is it now? The game is almost perfect, he put the fingers. The game is almost perfect. Battlefield 5 multiplayer gameplay. But then after some time, he changed it to this game is great because he knows how friggin' stupid he is. You know, that video is still on my channel, by the way. Go and watch it. Uh, Mr. Pro Westy Exposed. I will make it unprivate it. Um, you know, go watch that video. That video shows you exactly kind of how these YouTubers work, where what they'll do is they'll come out with something, they'll play a game behind closed doors, they'll say, it's absolutely amazing, best video game ever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm talking about, everybody. And then the game comes out and it's shit. And then they'll go into damage control. They'll change the titles of their videos to make themselves not look as stupid and obviously biased. You know, wasn't Westy once, like, head of EA Game Changers or some shit? You know, back when Game Changers used to have to have an online presence. Now you can get in Game Changers if you've got 17 subscribers. <laughs> it doesn't really make any difference. Um, So we were talking about that, and I'm like, what a terrible take. You know, we don't want sweaty BR games. You know, we want a proper Battlefield game. Why do you think Battlefield 2042 is starting to get more players playing the game? It's because 
people are actually seeing it more now as a Battlefield game instead of some kind of fucking hero shooter, which, you know, that's what EA was trying to go along the lines of monetization. Now, Westy did come out and say, you know, oh, well, Battlefield needs to reestablish itself, but I don't think it can just be a big team shooter anymore. No, that's exactly what it needs to be. Fortnite getting first person, COG getting free to play waves, Apex getting more and more features. All these games are changing shape. Battlefield has to adopt and grow. No, you moron. You complete moron. Again, most of these YouTubers only get views now because they have ruined Battlefield. They shield out for Battlefield. They shield out for Battlefield 5. They even said the same similar things about Battlefield 2042 that it's going to be a great year for Battlefield. You know, they all said the same shit. And again, it's not just once. They always say that they're the best games ever, you know, before release when they play them behind closed doors. And again, here we are with Battlefield 2042, which is getting to a point now where it's actually playable. Um, you know, Battlefield needs to be Battlefield again. It doesn't need to be anything else. Just make, basically, just make Battlefield 4 and bring it up to date with today's engines and what technology can do now in video games. That's all you need to do. You could even go as far as just remaster Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3, make them a bit up to date, make crossplay on them, and you're on to a winner. But no, you've got Westy, you know, the pro, what's his name, and Broken Machine, you know, that they're all just, you know, delusional. You're like, Broken Machine, he said, many of us Battlefield fans want it. I actually got in a bit of a discussion with him. Let me just try to get it. Um, tweets and replies. Where's tweets? Replies. Bear with me. We did have a bit of a conversation. He's probably blocked me since, because that's what they all do. They all get frigging butter. Oh, no, he hasn't. I'll give him that. Um, where are we? Where did he, where did he post it? Is he going to put it anywhere? He may have deleted something. Yeah, March the 8th. So, again, I got in a bit of a discussion with Broken Machine over on Twitter. Um, he was basically saying that he's still a Battlefield fan. He was still saying that he posts the majority of his videos he does is um, Battlefield. No, you stream pretty much Warzone every single day on the internet. Um, I'm, I'm not having any of that bullshit over here. At the end of the day, you know, Proper Battlefield fans who don't like BR games. You know, not everybody wants a BR game. I know they get loads of views now. You know, we, we can look at Westy's channel. Let's have a look at Westy's channel. I've spelt it wrong because I'm frigging, you know, losing my shit here. Let me zoom out a bit. So, again, you know, Westy does not pretty much no Battlefield anymore. The reason he does no Battlefield is anymore is because the views are not there, chat. The views are not there. All he wants to do is a Battlefield game to become a BR game, so it's an easy transition back over to Battlefield for him. Um, look at the colours, you know? Are these really thumbnails what are resembling, you know, what the Battlefield community want? No. You know, that's why Battlefield 2042 did shock him. Again, look. DMZ, Warzone content. Are you telling me that Westy is really a Battlefield fan? He is a fan of whatever's going to make him the most money on the internet. So when I've got Westy and all these other Battlefield once time Battlefield YouTubers who have obviously gone where the money is now, if Westy was a real Battlefield fan and he loved Battlefield, he'd still do Battlefield videos. But then there's, oh, it's only, it's, it's a business, he needs to make money. Yeah, I get that. But again, I've shown you evidence on the channel where he changes video titles and tries to manipulate his perception within the gaming community, you know, based on him making outrageous accusations that Battlefield 5, best game ever. Woo, yeah, and we know how bad th that game ended up being. And then, you know, they all said the same about Battlefield 2042. So for them to be saying they're looking out for the best interest of the Battlefield community, all I can say is go fuck yourselves. You're full of shit and you're just not what the Battlefield community needs. You know, Battlefield needs people who are going to speak up and speak out for the Battlefield community and not just for what's going to get them the most views on YouTube. But yeah, all these, you know, I'm all saying that Battlefield needs to be a BR game. It needs to reinvent itself. That's absolutely cannot be no further from the truth. What Battlefield needs to do is go back to what made Battlefield a popular video game and just make a single player game. You know, have the single player campaign like we've had on all Battlefields. Tie that into the multiplayer. You know, have 
basically basically what Battlefield 4 had in it. That's all you have to do. And obviously improve slightly on that, but make sure you've got the core fundamentals right of what makes a Battlefield game a Battlefield game. But again, this isn't a hate video. This is a passionate video because I don't want Battlefield to make another mistake and come out with a game which none of the Battlefield community want. You know, the people who are playing Warzone, okay, they're Call of Duty fans mainly. You know, the, the Battle Royale fans. Well, make a game for what your core audience has been missing for years, and that's a proper Battlefield game. And for fuck's sake, don't listen to the people on the internet who think they speak for, you know, the Battlefield community. You're no longer the Battlefield community, Westy. You know, look, look, there's nothing on here. Nothing. Has he done any live streams of Battlefield? Um, nope. So, how... Oh, he's done a two-hour one. Two-hour one there. It's probably a sponsored stream by EA, you know, does them every now and then. But, again, these people do not speak for me. They do not speak, I should imagine, for the majority of the Battlefield community. So, EA, dice more importantly, if you're listening to this video, please do not make a huge mistake. Do not make a huge mistake. You are starting to make and go in the right direction with Battlefield 2042 after its terrible, terrible launch, which, again, these YouTubers said, you know, was an amazing, amazing game when they played it behind closed doors. Again, you know, they just say whatever they're told to say. And, again, they take those paychecks or whatever or, you know, however they make money out of that whole situation. Again, they get free flights, free food, digs, hotels, whatever early access to gameplay so they can put it on the channel and get more views than, you know, they would if they didn't have that early access. But again, you, you know, there's always ways to make money out of stuff on the internet. But guys, guys and girls, developers, whoever, please, you know, this is a passionate plea from a Battlefield fan. Do not make the same mistakes again. Just please, for the love of God, please, and I'm not religious, it's just a saying, please do not, do not get carried away with another kind of BR knockoff. Again, Firestorm, nobody really wanted it in the community. Same as Hazard Zone, nobody really wanted it. So yeah, please do what's right and make a good Battlefield game. But again, this isn't a hate video. It's just me being passionate about Battlefield. Please just make a good Battlefield game. If you disagree with me, that's fine. If you agree with me, that's fine as well. But please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. All right. Love you all. Take it easy. Bye-bye for now.